Okay, today we are going to do a mathematical idea called rounding. And uh, you can round to different numbers, but we're going to round to the nearest 10 first, and then we'll try rounding to the nearest 100 for larger numbers. So the first suggestion I have, especially if you're new to this, is you get one of these special hundreds charts. And if you take a close look at this, um, you'll notice it's not a normal hundreds chart because 10 is repeated here and 20 is repeated. So we see it on each side. And then here you have a magical special line in the middle that's really going to help us um, understand how rounding works. So I'm even going to make this line uh, bright blue so we can see it really well. And if you're at home and you need something like this, uh, I'll post a link in the description down below of where you can find a chart like this to print out and use on your own if you um, are new to this. And later, hopefully, you can do it in your head, but right now, we're going to use this chart to help us. So here we have some numbers, and we want to round these to the nearest 10. So we're going to think about what multiple of 10, so counting 10, 20, 30, 40, is on either side of these. But let's just start and find that on our chart, 27. And there it is, 27. And you can see on one side we've got 30, and on the other side we've got 20. So here's 20 on one side, 30 on the other side. The question is, which is 27 closer to? And we can see here it's closer to 30, but we also know here is our line worth dividing it in half. So if the ones place is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it's going to be rounded up to 30. If it's less, it will be rounded down to 20. But it's 27, so it's rounded up to 30. So 27 rounded is 30. Uh, 47, same thing. Let's look. All right, here we have 47. Oh, and it's between 40 and 50. And the 7 is going to make us round up, but let's just double check. Here we can see on this side of the line we're rounding up to 50. So 47 rounded is 50. Uh, we'll do one more, 51. And here we can see 51. And it's between 50 and 60. But we can already see it's much closer to 50. It's on this side of the line, so we're rounding it down. So 51 rounded is 50. And uh, I think you can probably do the rest on your own. Um, I'll also put a link to where I got this... Uh, practice sheet if you're looking for some practice of how to do this. Now let's take a look next at um, hundreds. So here we're dealing with some larger numbers. These numbers are greater and we're going to round to the nearest hundred rather than the nearest ten. So multiples of a hundred would be 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. And now there's no chart for this because it would be a thousand numbers big which is too big. But just take this number, two hundreds that would go there, two hundreds, five hundreds, like so. And then this number here is always going to be the next hundred up. So 100 more than 500, 600, 300, 300, like so. And you can see these numbers are between the two numbers here. So <clears throat> what is 278? rounded. What is it closer to, 200 or 300? So let's look at a, a normal hundreds chart. This is just a normal hundreds chart. And what we're going to do is we're going to split this one like this. A little bit crooked there. Okay. Um, any number, when we're looking at the tens and ones place, if the tens and ones place falls up here, we're going to round down. If the tens and ones place is here, we're going to round up to the larger number. 
So here we've got 78, and 78 is greater than 50, so we're rounding that to the higher number, which would be 300. Here we've got 26, and 26 is lower than 49, so it's closer to the lower or smaller number. So we do round that down to 200. And finally, 87, you can probably figure it out in your head, and you should be able to do this in your head eventually, but 87, we're looking here now, and it's closer to the larger number. It's above 50, so this would be rounded up to 600. So it just takes a little bit of practice using the charts at first, but eventually you should be able to just round numbers in your head and even use this to help you estimate um, some addition and subtraction problems in the future. Thank you. Oh, and one more thing. Again, if you want uh, the charts to help you with this, I will post the link in the description so you can uh, print them out for yourself and you can get some practice sheets for yourself too if you need to practice rounding. Thanks.